Hello friends and welcome back to my tutorial. So what we have? I just start to play and in beginning we haven't nothing, just empty space. So and as you can hear I have some music, very nice. So what we will do? We will try to create some um, how it's calling, I make like this, hold and we are create one more actor. So it will be blueprint class standard actor. We are calling it like a start window or maybe something like that, doesn't matter. So I take this actor and apply to my scene and apply to zero coordinates like my bool, something like that. So what I will do now, open this actor, go inside and add component. So we are eight sprite, paper sprite. This will be a land, land, something like this. Open and select one land. Where is this land? Somewhere here. Okay, land, select this land. Very good. So what size of this land? We are going to land just to, to be sure that uh, 0.2 should be, okay. We are take this land and make it 0.2. Like all my previous land which I created. Okay, very nice. Uh, what we will do now, compile, going a little bit down. And as you can see on my this small picture, sm uh, small picture, I already have this land. So just take it, copy paste and put somewhere here, something like that. I have one more land, good. Copy paste, put somewhere here, one more land and very nice. So I have some lands. Very good. For example, when I start play now, I already have some lens. Okay, very good. Oh, I forget to pick up this lens little bit up. As you remember, I make it two, something like that. You can check some of my tutorials where is we are create a lens. You can found why we have make like this. So what we doing now? Now we will add other sprite. Uh, we are copy paste and this will be for example a tree or mount, we can use a mount, doesn't matter. Where is my mount? Some beautiful I like to take, maybe this one. Okay, very good. So uh, mount, what size of my mount? Mountain. Zero twenty five. I make also for mounting 0, 0.25. Very good. So very nice. It will be on 0. And I put somewhere here. Something like that. Very nice. Copy, paste. Will be other mount. Maybe this one. Why not? So, copy paste and it will be a tree. Where is my tree? Uh, as you remember, my tree also 0 0.2, yeah? Something like that. Good. Copy paste, put somewhere here, make it 0 0.15 and change to other tree just to make little bit randomize. Put somewhere up, oh, sorry, my mistake. Uh, I have to make a copy paste, put somewhere forward, something like that. Make also other tree, increase size, maybe 0 0.17. Okay, very nice. And as you can see, some of them behind, some of them forward. So we will uh, we will change this little bit later. Copy paste. It will be a clouds. So uh, I take now this tree, put little bit up, and change a cloud. Okay, very good. I not remember exactly a size for my cloud, but I think it also will be 0 0.2, 0 0.15. Copy paste, one more clouds. 
somewhere here very nice and change for other side okay good so what we will do now create a bash put down and take a small bash Mm -hmm. very good so something like that we can make a copy paste put somewhere forward somewhere here and also make it to randomize for other one okay what we will do now now we have to apply a different random size so first of all I'm going here and if I need it or not just open rendering and as you can see this translucency sort priority so i am going to mount and check i use from 21 to 40 so i take my mount where is my mount this my mount and this my mount and take it something like a 21 and this mount will be like a 22 something like that okay what else now i take my clouds where is my clouds here uh, I use from 5 to 20 so go in here take first cloud and use it for example 5 this is for example will be 6 doesn't matter so what next I am going to my trees trees I use sort priority 41 60 take it find a tree and change it 41 42 or oh, 42 43 very good what next i'm going to my bash small bash where is it at this here so at priority 71 91 so where is my bushes this it will be 71 72 and looks like that's all and last one land uh, i have to check so priority for land 101 and I make it 101 this will be 102 this will be 103 something like that so very nice now I start to play and what I can see I can see some nice picture in beginning so if I jump it is not moving but this already start moving so now we will try to make some movement we are going for event graph we are create what we are create we are create one more custom event not one more just one custom event it will be like remove we are calling something like that uh, then i add uh, add movement just more moment where is this again add pro project movement component that's that's yeah it is take it and target itself so all this actor i start to move with which speed i use a velocity set velocity in local space so i use like my standard speed i split the structure and it will be minus 120 very nice after that i make some delay uh, for example now i make it two seconds and after delay i will destroy this actor something like that very nice so uh, but i now have to start this remove component so how to do it i like to remove i like to start this uh, event from my uh from my pawn so i'm going here and first time when i will jump going all this action going everything 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 and somewhere here start camera moving and after that i make um, yeah before to make i'm going to create some new variable new variable i will put here this variable will be start just a moment yeah 
start start window object reference something like this it will be a start window okay start window object so i take it by this uh, variable i call the start window actor so i take it get and from here i use remove event you remember our remove event take it and then call so uh, when i first time when i first time push this button i am going all this action after that will be do once coming spawn all after spawn wall, I have uh, moved my camera. And after move, move camera, I call my remove, call start window, something like that, start window actor. We can make like this. So now we are understood what is going on. And now we will check. So start to play. As you can see now, nothing moving. But if I play, it is start moving and nothing more nothing more why like this now we have to check so blueprint run error no trying read blah 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 yeah okay why it's uh, why i cannot read if i open that as you can see start window i have a nothing so i have to open this open i you remember we already do it for spawn actor i have to open this i save after that i have go to my pawn and here start window i have put my start window inside so you can check my previous some some of the previous tutorials i explain more more correct what is going on and now we are called by my pawn variable we are called already start window so check it now and i hope now everything will work jump okay everything moving why like this why like this we are going back to my start window and we are check this delay and destroy so i increase for maybe five seconds yes and play we will see what will be now play and again is going to out uh, question is why why is coming like this it's coming like this because uh, inside in the spawn, inside spawn object, I have this destroyer. Destroyer or destroyer, doesn't matter, my English is so poor. I have this box and everything what is coming inside in this box automatically destroyed. So I'm going here, I have to select everything, all my uh, paper sprites which I added. I have go here, collision and make it collision no any collision nothing compile and start to play again okay as you can see it's dropping down again in some of my previous tutorial i explained why it happened like this so i have ch uh, check my movement component and check gravity for zero yes and play again so i don't need any gravity very nice it's already moving so now i add little bit more components i'm going here i just take this land copy paste put somewhere here take this land copy paste put somewhere here then i take this tree Okay, very good. Copy paste somewhere here and change this mount for something, maybe something like that. So now we will see if it's enough or not. Start to play and check. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, it is coming out. And I already start the play. And as you can see, I lose it very fast. Uh, one more time, just check how it's going on. Uh, this actor destroyed it very fast. Look at this. I am again start to play and look at this. This mount, bam, it's already destroyed. So maybe I'm going to event graph and this duration I will add for one second more, for six seconds, maybe seven seconds, doesn't matter. Check again. Maybe seven seconds. Okay, very nice. And as you can see, I already have some game. I have some sounds, some effects, and I have start actor which is already destroyed. So now I have to check something and also you can do it. If it's everything done here in beginning, you can see I have four actors. So I start to play and as you can see, it's created 15 actors. So start to play 19 actors. Start some uh, spawning. So we will see 43 actors, 47 actors. And I hope it will be not more, not more than 50. No, it's already 50 actors, you see. But sometimes if you are make some somewhere wrong settings, these actors will increase really too much if you are haven't any destroyer. And uh, by this reason, your computer going to stack, your game have very big stack. But now you can see, so I have somewhere close to 55 actors. Uh, looks like it's very nice. I can almost 60 frame per second. This is my memory which is used. Also more or less good. How many objects inside? So everything more or less okay. And question is how I can reduce quantity of these actors. So it's very simple. I can go for example for um, spawn object. Just a moment. Yeah, for spawn object. And in event graph, for example, um, for example, drums, drums we are put here, very good, three. I put not 800, I put also 600, something like that. Uh, play, and as you can see, I have 200 less, so spawning will be somewhere more closer. Now we will see. Now, as you can see, it's really very close and and I don't like it. I don't like it, 600 is really small, so I put 700. Play. Wait a little bit. Or we can keep 800, doesn't matter. Bushes. So, more or less. Uh, okay. For a moment it is done. Uh, the one problem, one problem is uh, when you start to play, you can see inside uh, in this uh, start window, I haven't any parallax effect. So if I start move, everything moving with same speed. You can fix this problem. You can just create a few actors. Uh, one will be for clouds, other will be for trees, other will be for mounds, something like that. After that, for each actor, you will add some different velocity and by this reason you can use a parallax effect and after that all your actors will destroy it automatically so i just don't like to lose the time for that i show you the idea how to make it for a start window maybe in my next tutorial i show you how to make for a different one just show you some example but for a moment my tutorial completed and thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel put like and don't forget to check my other tutorials. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.